I'm Abby with Motor City Nerds. Let's talk about the Suicide Squad, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I like that we fast forward through all the BS. I like that we didn't get a whole recap of everything from the, because it's not a sequel, it's a continuation, but they just kind of fixed things a little bit. But all in all, I liked this. Oh, and spoilers. Just had a bunch of stuff fall down and scare the shit out of me. But anyway, I really liked how we fast forwarded through it. I liked how we made Amanda Waller much more of a bad guy. I liked how they were showing uh, the basic workers betting on who would die and not really giving a shit. I thought that set up, I thought that was really cool to do. I thought I liked that little thing in there. Also really liked the psych out in the beginning of like the, like the B team going in and there were some big names there and them just getting blown away. I really, I, I liked it. I thought it was fun. I thought that was a good idea. It was like, oh shit. Okay, never mind. These aren't even the people we're going to give a shit about. And I liked that. I really thought the way they went into the title sequence was really cool after the beach invasion. I thought the violence being over the top and wacky and gross and fun could get to be too much and it never did. I thought it landed well. I thought it was I thought it was fun. I thought it was gross. I thought it was gross in a good way. I thought it landed. It was it was well choreographed. It was super cool. I like I liked that a lot. Thanks to James Gunn's directing and writing and I enjoyed it. I did. The jumps in time were fun and not too crazy and not like you were trying to do anything too nuts, but it was still fun um, and didn't confuse you. Like when they did the three days earlier after the they show you the beach invasion and we have them showing blood sports backstory, which I thought was really great. And Idris Elba can do whatever he wants, like I've said before on here. So I thought he was I thought he was great. I thought everybody was great in this and did they knew what movie they were in and it was it was good. It was exactly what the Suicide Squad should be. This is the movie we should have got the first time. It's like the Expendables. It's the people that we... It's just over-the-top crazy shit, and that's what we needed. And that's what it was. And I, I thought it was very well done. Was it perfect? No. Was it fun? Yes. Making scenes like Bloodsport talking to his daughter, even though that's a sad and serious thing, making it funny was very well done. I liked it. The writing was good. I, I, I really did. I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, Viola Davis was always great. Everybody was great. I really liked the um, tit for tat that uh, John Cena and Idris Elba have. I thought they were really well put together, and I thought it was funny. It was funny when Amanda Waller's like, oh, and goes to recruit somebody and uses the same exact thing she just said for blood sport, and that was the whole kicker of why do you need another person who has the same skill set, which comes back into play because he ends up being the turncoat in the group, which is a very suicide Suicide Squad thing to do, and I thought that was cool and funny, but I really liked their back and forth. I do like that they sent Harley Quinn off on her own little mission, but I do have a few qualms with how they handled it being kind of shoved in in the middle, and we'll get to that. But I did like that they separated her from the group at first, which allowed us to get to know these other characters better, and even these obscure characters better, and get to care about them. Also, King Shark, right? The greatest. The greatest. Definitely did have some, he did Guardians of the Galaxy, which this did have some vibes of Guardians of the Galaxy, but they allowed him to have his R rating, and I feel like that R rating really did add to making this movie actually good and better than the other one, which they made them make it PG-13. I don't know why you would do that for characters like this, and everybody said the same thing back then, but that R rating really helped with this movie. Did like the going to the bar, slice of life stuff, and them all getting drunk together and having fun together. Getting to know these characters. They did a very good job of getting to know these characters. They did a really good job with that. I liked that a lot. It was very well done. And I didn't think, who watches me and goes, yeah, I'm really going to give a shit about Polka Dot Man. Or I'm really going to give a shit about somebody who's controlling rats. Like, oh, also, that's exactly what my work is like. You go outside. That is exactly what it is like with the rats. <laughs> Let's just get into the Harley Quinn stuff really quick because I love Harley Quinn, obviously. I do. I love her as a character. I think Margot Robbie is great as her. I thought she I thought she was great in this movie, but I feel like the studio said we have to give her her own little or we have to have her do more. And you could tell. But it wasn't terrible. It wasn't awful. It just felt a little bit like we're spending too much time here. I liked her being taken there and being swooned by this guy and then her killing him and then I really and here's a tidbit of info is I have dealt with a crazy abusive relationship and this is what I mean about same thing when Idris Elba's character talks to his daughter and it's this serious thing and they make it funny. Harley Quinn saying her little thing about red flags about men and how she says, I, I can't remember the exact quote, but she says, I, she says, when you like somebody like that and you are in, and that's the lifestyle you're in and sometimes those guys don't go away. They tell you to go away from them and sometimes you can't get away. Sometimes they slash your tires. Sometimes they follow you. Some, that's 
that like hit me in my heart and I was like, oh my God. And then of course it made it funny because it's James Gunn and Harley Quinn and great. And, but I thought they did a very good job with that. I loved that little speech I and that I liked that a lot. I'm just going to tie this in with her escape stuff. So during her torture and escape and before the squad's coming to get her, I really liked that she saves herself but then she's like, I can go back in and let you guys save me. Like, but I really did like that they had her save herself. But like I said, it and it was choreographed well. It was a very cool scene. It was sweet. You got to. I, I always appreciate when we go back to her being an acrobat. And so when you get to see her twisting up and escaping and all this stuff, and it's like that's. I, I always like that when we get that with our Harley Quinn, and she just does this character so well. And I did think the escape scene was choreographed well. It was sweet. It was badass. But I was like, you're kind of giving her her own whole thing here, and that's awesome but I feel like we're spending a little bit of too much time, but it's not a knock against it. I still liked it. I still had fun. I still thought it was great. I loved it. thought it was really cool how um, we had the mission names popping up in the smoke or in the debris or whatever, and you got to read it out before they went and did it. I thought that was really cool. That was a nice touch. I, th and to add to that, this movie is beautifully done. It looks like a comic book. It looks like a comic book. It looks like you took this colorful world, which it should be. These are the biggest, craziest, most colorful characters you have. It should be big and fun and colorful. And this movie is. It's big, it's colorful, it's fun, it's violent, it's over the top, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really, I thought that splitting up the group was a good idea at, towards the, at the big mission. I thought splitting them up was good, and I thought the comedy hit. I thought that the violence hit. I thought, I the amount of people that they were killing off, I was kind of surprised by, but it worked. I thought that the entrance into the building of the main end of the movie, the big mission, was really cool. King Shark ripping that man in half was the, one of the coolest scenes in the entire film. I loved that. It was awesome. But once we get in there, we get the two groups splitting off, which we also adds to characters being able to be rounded out and engage with each other and engage with different people more and we get to see them more with each other and with others and that makes us actually care more about the characters and engage more with the characters. So I thought that was really cool too by making them split off and go all in their different ways. This is also when we start to get to Peacemaker's flip. So, like I said in the beginning, why would you have two people with the same skill set? Oh, because this one's going to end up being a sneak. That's why. And he's really a flip. And like, like I said, it's a very Suicide Squad thing to do. And I liked it a lot. The fight choreography with John Cena, in the that, that was sweet. I liked that a lot. That was cool. I That was badass. It was brutal as fuck. This whole movie is brutal, by the way. But some of it is that it's James Gunn fun over the top violence, where it's kind of goofy and wacky, but, but it is gory. And I, I liked it, but in a good way. I really did enjoy this. I think this was what we should have got five years ago. The characters were well done. It was well written. It was directed well. I thought it was fun. Is it a perfect film? No. But if you're a fan of comic book movies, definitely check it out. If you have nothing to do, I'd say check it out because it's just fun, over-the-top craziness. These are just some of my thoughts on it and favorite little things from it. I really liked King Shark. I think we're all loving King Shark right now. He's the best. He's the cutest. He's the most adorable. And Sebastian the Rat, super cute, super adorable. I loved it. Yeah, I, I, I like I said, I thought maybe somebody said, hey, you got to put more Harley Quinn in and you could tell, but it wasn't, it didn't take away from the movie. It's super fast paced. It's, it's, and I know people say this all the time, but it's like getting on a roller coaster, but this movie really is. It's like, no, from the beginning to the end, it is go, 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 and fun and crazy. And it never stops. And that's exactly what you want from the Suicide Squad. These are the craziest, most out of out of their mind, not so characters you have. Let's get crazy. And I've been saying this to people: is that that is the smartest thing that Warner Brothers has done with the DC stuff is stop trying to make it all connect and let people make their films that they want to make, like Joaquin Phoenix Joker, like The Suicide Squad. Don't try and make everything connect if you don't have a Kevin Feige like at Marvel. Give people... I'm really excited for the new Batman. I think that I've been excited. I, when Joaquin Phoenix got announced as the Joker, I was like, this is going to be great. It's not going to be what people expect, but he's going to be great. And the second Robert Pattinson got named as Batman, I was like, he's going to be fucking awesome. Because if you've been watching his work, he's great. So I'm super excited for the new Batman. But that is the smartest thing Warner Brothers has done, is gone. Do you want to know what? Fuck trying to make everything connect. Let's just stick to letting good filmmakers and good writers and good people that are good at their jobs make these stories that they want to make and you will get better products and I think that is one of the smartest things they've done. I just wanted to come on and give my little two cents, a little reaction. I still haven't watched it with mom. I don't know if I'll make another video going into detail. I just wanted to say, yeah, this is much better than the one we got. This is fun. This is a good time. It's exactly what the Suicide Squad should be. Is it Citizen Kane? No, and it shouldn't be. But I had fun watching it. 
I liked it. I think you should check it out. And remember that I'm Abby with Motor City Nerds. Like, share, and subscribe. It helps me so much. And let's get to 200 subs, guys. Let's get there. And remember, stay safe out there, everybody.